one tiny so chippy's here okay so here's the dealio i have to like you might i think toma's actually in the her original outfit i'm redoing this section because it's a shooting game i can't um, picture komeji playing this what happened was Is that minus ten? Um four minutes now. I don't think that'll count for anything. We'll see. A shooting game. Oh, so yeah, it's minus ten, so it doesn't matter. Um shoot. Anyway. So what basically happened was like I had already done this, and what ended up happening was that I had gotten a phone call from my doctor because I was trying to make it up. Oh no! So, what happened, my friends? Komeji's trying. Okay, it wouldn't matter. Um. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. There is. Yeah, I'm not making it with time. What is that? Oh shit! Hold up. I just realized while I saw it, you guys didn't see it. So I probably should. What? Another? Let's go back. Huh? Komeji? What? He's over there. Komeji is trying to get on an airplane. His expression is so... dead. Toma, get in position to show Komeji a cue card. What? Another? Uh, what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Oh, y'all didn't even see the firearm one. What am I doing? Cause like, it's like. What? You want me to play this? Oh, uh, I'm not good with this. Hey there, you look like a shooter. Why don't you give it a shot? This is the goods. I'm gonna take the pay. Don't worry, it's untraceable. Thank you. Oh no. Andy's Komeji was selling firearms. <laughs> huh? Komeji. What? He's over there. Komeji is trying to get on an airplane. His expression is so dead. Toma, get in position to show Komeji a cue card. And then you hit one what? and a half. Another? Uh, what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Why? I gave you all your money. You're nowhere close. Going round and round again, Komeji. You're stuck doing laps for us just like this plane ride. Komeji had a hard time getting away from these shady characters. I'm guessing he could only pay off the interest. Crap! I forgot my bow tie! Hey, where is he going? What is this? I know. If I have this, this is my ticket out of here. This is victory! This is my gold medal! What did Komeji find? I'm going after him. What? Is this...? This is where I'm at. Something shiny. And a suitcase next to it. Damn it. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that extra 30 second thing. Had I not, I probably would have made it for, to get that other chain. This getting found. And it'll fit perfectly in my suitcase. <laughs> it's just sitting there, practically begging me to take it. If I take this, I can escape this life. This is my chance to finally get ahead. I can't go back now. Komeji took something home in his suitcase. I'm guessing he was going to blackmail someone. But what could it be? 
Well... Battery level good. Okay. Turn off my speaker. Okay. No, but like I had to delete the last episode I had recorded because it had some like sensitive, it had like picked up some sensitive information that I don't want you guys fucking picking up on. So I was like, hope, may I was like, maybe it didn't go through the, the thing, but I, like, and I was on the fence on if I shouldn't, because you can kind of hear it, but not, so it was like on that threshold of maybe they won't be able to hear it or not, but I was like, you know what, I'm not going to risk, you know, it actually being there, so, and that's where we're at. Mr. Komeji, I've taken a look inside your mind. You've been involved in gun trafficking, haven't you? There are other things I'd like to ask you about. May I have a minute of your time? Okay. No matter what you hit, go to log. Connection, trafficking, front on the roots off, was a gun, tra traffic. Ah. Don't worry. No matter what, he doesn't answer any of it. Mr. Komeji, you're treading dangerous waters here. At this rate, Shoma could also be put in danger. Please, talk to me. For Shoma's sake. Shoma, can you protect him? You want me to protect Shoma? As soon as I know he's safe, I'll tell you everything. Sorry. Shoma, I'll have to fill you in later. I need to talk to your dad for now. Uh, okay. But... All right, Ryuki. I'll leave the rest to you. Now, please continue, Komeji. Or do you prefer Mr. Enda? Okay. Like, I don't know, I'm just kind of mildly getting miffed, because I don't, like, something that's going to happen later. But, um... Well... The thing on the rooftop of Misaka, you know about it, don't you? Yes. You walked away with it in your suitcase. It was so you could blackmail someone. That's right. Is this related to Horidori Institute somehow? Mr. Ryuki... Please take a look at this. A message. Look at the sender. Yeah. A message from Terror. Komeji, what's going on here? Why do you have a Nile message from a serial killer? That thing I found belonged to Terra. That's what he was talking about in the message. Are you saying you tried to blackmail Terra? I guess so. Anyway, that's why I went to Horidori Institute. The entrance was already open by the time I got there. But there was no one inside, as you know. I had no choice but to wait there. And then you showed up. Mm-hmm. That we did. Uh, a 
about what you said earlier. I was involved with gangs and their gun trafficking operations. That's where I stole the gun I had. I was knee-deep in some dangerous business. I thought I needed a way to protect myself. I had made a comment earlier one of my first recordings. But essentially, like, it is good to keep yourself safe, but, you yes, know. Yes, I've racked up a huge amount of debt. Not I've stealing been hounded by collectors. Eventually, they started threatening me with this. Listen, Andy Skomeji. Your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? I couldn't talk to the police. You're right. Gangsters selling guns, and I was an accomplice. It was all for money, but... I've always wanted to cut ties with that lot. But I couldn't do it. I had no other way to pay back the money I owed. The money to make as a comedian is just a drop in the bucket. Do you still intend to hide things from me? The answer is yes, yes he does. Mr. Komeji, I'll ask you one more time. What is this thing that's so important to terror? Fine. I'll ask a different question. Where is it now? Will you bring me with you? If you do, I'll tell you. It still sucks that this is the correct path. Or at least I hope it's not, but we'll see. Mr. Komeji, isn't this... Yes, it's my home. This makes so much sense that it's actually confusing. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. So, where can I find it? Ah, oh, right. Uh, where was it? I must be getting old. I'm having trouble remembering. Mr. Komeji, please. You can't tell me that after bringing me all the way here. I know, but uh, what am I supposed to do if I can't remember? We have no choice, Ryuki. Let's just start looking around. He's a liar, it's what he is. Just to let you guys know if you didn't realize that's what's going on. He's lying to us. So, you know. Mark that up. Unfortunately, I have to re click everything. But, um... Ryuki, shall we play? What are you talking about? We don't have time for that. Well, Nothing here, huh? There's something like seaweed on the ground, though. I don't think that's relevant right now. Where is the seaweed like item? I don't see it. Boy, show my stuff. Hmm, nothing really stands out. Maybe this? You think this is what Terror was after? Sure. Found one. Okay. Two. 
robot. There are only futons inside. Hey, that. Can't find nothing. Mr. Komeji. Yes, it should be. Yuki, look at this. I thought so. What is he thinking? I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep lying to me... Huh? Why are you all here? Well, I made a really big deal about it and I did a good complaint, but I'll just sum up my complaint. The police should not have released Shoma, a minor, to unauthorized teen, like adults. I say adults because I think they're all over the age of 18. And Though I'm not too sure how. Like, I'm not too sure how it works in Japan. But here in the States, you cannot. They do not really. Unless they want to be held liable. They're not allowed to release my minors to unauthorized adults, which would mean the only person who would be allowed to pick up Shoma would be Komeji. And the police can release Kom Shoma into Komeji's custody, but they would not be able to just release him. How awful of you to leave him all by himself. So I got really annoyed. Miss Iris, Miss that they're all here. Dinner at then I got a Nile message from Shoma. That's when we found out about the questioning. We also found out Shoma was in police custody. This is bad. It's a super mega big deal. That's what we all were thinking. So we headed over. But he was done being questioned by the time we arrived. That is why we decided to bring him here. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Do y'all know Shoma? Seems so. Sorry, like, I fucked up my foot for a little bit right now. So that's probably how they all connected. Give it up already, Dad! I already hated you for being unfunny, pathetic, and unpopular. And now you're a criminal too? Did the police tell you that? Yeah, they told me everything. But it was all for you. Stop making excuses! You did all that bad stuff, and you're still trying to fight back, lie, and trick your way out of it. I'm sick of it! Shoma. Dad, Dad, you should just die already. <gasps> what? What is it? Big mistake. I'll give you one more chance. Come to Davat alone. This could be an opportunity, Ryuki. If we go to Davita, maybe we can catch terror. Mr. Komeji, we'll put our search aside for now. I'm going to Davita alone. I can't bring you along on a hunt for a dangerous criminal. No, you can't. Terror will run if you show up. I need to get his guard down first. You should hide somewhere. Once he shows up, you appear. Are you sure? Yes. I'll be the bait. This is the least I can do after what I've done. Hmm. And I already know what's gonna happen. No, y'all don't. Because... Well, we're not completely there. Like, we're slowly getting to the section where I was before, you know, I had to get off the thing. Um. I think she had a larger piece of string. Not. When she wanted to do now, before he did, we started a video call on his smartphone. And I said, it was the video over. We said, no matter how long I waited, it didn't seem like Tara would show up. I eventually ran out of patience and walked into the studio. You have to be patient.
Like, I really don't like this video. It's very creepy. Oh, good. You're okay. I don't think I'm injured. Why are you here? We will explain later. First, can you tell us what happened here? I don't know. I started seeing things. Then I lost consciousness. to come back. Tama. After you lost consciousness, you were attacked from behind. A high voltage current was delivered to your back, and I'm short circuited. I wasn't able to use any of my functions. But as you can see, I was able to bring myself back online thanks to my self-repair program. Did Tara do this? I don't know. I didn't see the attacker. I don't know anything after you lost control of your bladder. You mean lost consciousness? Yeah, whatever. So, where is Komeji? I don't see him here. <sighs> like, he shouldn't have done this. You know what's gonna happen. We all know what's gonna happen. And no amount of me telling him not to do it is not gonna stop him. So. But honestly, why did they bring the child? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> Why? And so, here we are. Oh, shit. Did I forget to set the timer? Fuck. That or the timer went off, off already. Um. Uh. Let's go that. Not for amateurs. We can't see. Um, fuck, I haven't been paying attention to the time. I don't remember when I started. Surely it hasn't been that long. Right? Hmm. Well, it's already 31. So. Let's give it another 10 minutes. And then we'll end the episode there. So let's do that. It's the right half of Kameji's body. I think it's safe to say terror is the culprit. Ryuki, let's talk to everyone before checking the body. All right. Talk to the girls? I can't even sit now. Not enough battery. Um, well... Dante? Ah! There you are. Here you are, the receipt for your card payment. Oh, thank you. Like that creeps me out. Excuse me, but who are you? Hmm? What? Oh, I am but a humble taxi driver. I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier. So you drove these four here. 
Indeed, that is correct. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, but I didn't know how to open the CD player, so I smashed it with my fist. Okay, why are you telling me this? That is just how terrible with machines I am. That is why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. And while I was fumbling my way through the payment... You see the girl with the blue hair in the passenger seat ran out. So it was... Mommy did? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite blustered by this rowdy display. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. I somehow managed to process the payment, but I was still quite bothered. I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's, but she was sitting on the far left seat, so Shoma and I didn't get out. Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. Um, if you'll excuse me. No, because you just walked into a crime scene. You can't leave. By anyone, do you mean the culprit? Well, anyone at all. Like, any suspicious figures, maybe? No, we did not see a single soul. I see. That is a bit of an exaggeration. We simply untied the rope that bound you. Rope? <laughs> Must be that one over there. I was tied up with that? Yeah. Your hands and feet were tied really tight. When we arrived, we found you on the ground in that state. So, Kizzy and I untied the rope. Y yes Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Mommy was already inside. What is it, Ryuki? Does something bother you about that? No, it's nothing. Why the fuck was she, did she go in by herself? Something fair ass. I figured that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to Divida, so I got worried and came over. Oh, but we did not come here right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. I think it was about two and a half hours after you left that we decided. We thought we should just come straight here and... It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. What time did they leave? No. I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. I guess so. Now here... Okay. So where's Shoma? Oh, there he's... I'm debating on if I should talk to Shoma first or Amane over here. Ryuki, you should talk. Fine, fine, fine. When I saw a car, she must be in shock. She's coming up to the dock. She seems very. We should let her be. I don't give a shit. I see. No one saw anything. Face. She must have saw something. She's fucking suspicious as fuck. Okay, Shoma. What can you even say in a situation like this? How could this have happened? Of course he's not okay. Kumeji was his father. Even if they were fighting. I mean, that's what sound. I mean, you know. Toma, have you contacted Abyss and HQ? Way ahead of you. The investigation team should arrive soon. I've also arranged for a counselor. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. Uh, uh, Shoma? Are you okay? Uh, nope. Uh, 
He's going to blame himself, I bet you. He's like, he did just tell his dad to die. Don't just stand there, Ryuki. Go after him. Can't leave the body, right. though. You can't leave because you're leaving the body alone. And you need to wait look, somebody with the body because that's when shit happens. Time I ran out of the studio, Shaman is already gone. The yeah, three must have decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. I thought it would be better to search a wider area and got in my car, but I don't see him anywhere. No more spots on his phone, and his GPS is off. Where did you go, Shoma? We have to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in the state. Calm Has down, anybody Ricky. thought to go check his house? Think about where Shoma might go. Where he might go. Or the Ferris wheel. If he can. I got it. Shoma must be there. Because if it's not in his house, Komiji says he likes to go to the Ferris wheel. And ride the Ferris wheel, because that's his, like, little safe base. So... That place still open. Shoma. <sighs> well, no big deal. It's a Ferris wheel. You'll come back down if we just wait. Not if he jumps. <laughs> I don't like this because we. I've got a bad feeling. And anyway, I this is all a load of bull. Today is Valentine's Day. What? It's past midnight, so it's February 14th now. Oh, but I don't really care about that right now. How can you not care? More importantly, Shoma was on the number two car, right? Why do you ask? Because... Yes, he definitely went in number two. I thought so. If that's the case, he should be back soon. I don't like this vibe right now. He's probably gone. What? No. How? I knew he was gonna be fucking gone. I fucking told you. Did I not fucking tell y'all? How? We checked every one of the cars, but I don't see Shoma anywhere. We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. It can't be. Impossible. It can't be. It can't be. I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes. And yet... The 
fuck is going on? Hold on! Don't tell me it's happening again! I don't like how the scratching is right now. Can somebody tell me what it says when he does that freak out? I really am curious as to what that freak out is about and what he's saying exactly in it. Like, and also in the Japanese version, is it in English? Or like, what is being said there? Oh. Like I said, I was going to wait for 10 Tell minutes. Me. Do you know about this place? I'm going to end the episode here and we'll see what happens um, from there. But So for now, Tiny is the Chibis is signing out.